Hello all, welcome to this training program on e-learning by SNDT Women's University, Mumbai, Dr. Ambedkar Chair in collaboration with PVDT College of Education for Women, Mumbai. So let us get started. I am Shikha Menani, Assistant Professor, PGDAV College, University of Delhi. A very good morning to everyone. So today we are going to learn as to how we can create different interactive sites. So there are two ways of creating any website. The first is we can simply log in to our Gmail account and here we can search for this icon. Okay, so this is how we can find the Google sites. We just have to click on this and this page would appear. Just click on create. We can go to in new sites or in classic sites. So you will get the already established templates for various websites, but we don't want that to happen. So we will go to new sites. We'll just wait till this page is opened. So this is the default page of any particular website. The other way of opening this page is there might be some changes in few of your settings. So it may appear something like this also on the G Suite account because the Google keeps on changing its formats. So if you don't have that create option, you might be having this new Google sites option. So either you would be having create or you would be having the new Google sites and both of them would take you to the same page. So here you can select this blank site. Alright, you can select this blank site and from here also you will come to the same home page. So you don't have to be worried if you are unable to find the create button because there might be some updation. So you may have the option of new Google sites. Hello all, in the first video we saw how we can make the Google sites using our G Suite account as well as we can open it from the browser. There is one more way of opening the Google site which you can easily do from any of your Gmail accounts irrespective of whether you have a G Suite or not. For that, just click on this Google Apps, go to Drive and go to New. In this New, go to More. Now, as soon as you go to more, you can see that you have this Google Sites here. So from here also, you can make the Google Sites using your personal Gmail account. Delete this and I will write FTP on digital methodology. Right. I can also change this. I can make it bold. I can give it this or I can give it this. It's my choice. Now let us see if I want to change the background. I can also do that. So for this we have to click on this change image. So as soon as I click on this there are two options. I can either go for upload or I can go for select image. Let us see both the options. So if I click on upload it will ask me the path to my uh, saved image that is there on my device. I already have a saved image so I'll select that and you can see that on the right bottom it is coming adjusting for readability. So as soon as you change the background image the whatever is written on that particular background it will automatically change so that it, the appearability is good. Okay so this is the artificial intelligence here. There is also other option I can go to select image and here I have various options. I already have certain background images in my gallery. You can also go to any URL if you have. You can also search for that. So if I want to have any uh, picture related to e-learning, I can click on that and I can use that for my website. So these are the various options of uploading a background image. I already have that, so I need not go for this. Let me also change the name of my site. 
So I will give it a name. I have written it here and I will click. So the same name would appear here. I can also add a logo. If my uh, university has a logo, if my institution has a logo, I can also put that in my uh, website. Now let us see how we can uh, go ahead. First is click on this header type. So when I click on this header type, it will ask me whether this name FDP on digital methodology, I want it to appear as the whole cover page. So the whole space would be taken by this or I want it to be like a large banner. So you can see that it is extended or a simple banner or title only. Okay, I don't want it. I want a simple banner for my website. So I have selected it. Now let us go and add various content to it. On the right hand side, you can see that there are tabs, insert, pages and themes. First, let us talk about this insert tab. In the insert tab, there are these four options. If I want to add any text box, I can click on this and here a text box is appearing. I can write anything that I want my viewers to know from this website. So I will write the FTP is to enrich the learner with digital methodologies to interact sorry with the students right so I have entered a text and if I want that after this a line should come a divider should come so I scroll down and here is this option of divider so when I click on this there is a dividing line so whatever I write after this there would be a line in between these two text now let us see how we can add a table of content if any viewer wants to know what is there in my website so if we prepare any article, if we prepare any document, we generally have a table of content on the front page. So if we want to add table of contents, click on table of contents on the right hand side and it will tell you that add headings and they will appear on your table of contents. So you don't have to write anything in this box. You simply go below it. Right? Just simply go below this and start writing. So suppose I want to give this text a heading of objective. So I have written objective in this and I will select the objective and click on this and give it a heading because the table of content would only take whatever is written on this page in the headings. If a simple text is written, it won't be taken in the table of contents only the headings would be automatically taken in my table of contents. So as you can see that objective is here. Now let us add another text box and in that right, uh, let us see uh, exam okay, or let us see who can enroll for the course. Let us also make this a heading. Okay, so I have made it a heading and it will automatically come in my table of contents. Below this, I can write anything. So, any student, any student with 12th pass certificate. Okay, so this is here. So, in the same manner, I can add number of uh, contents in my table. Let us add one more content. First, let us add a divider to this. So my, con my content is divided. I again go back to the text box and I click here duration of the course. I'll again select this and make it a heading. Right. And I'll write it will start from 15th June onwards. Okay, so I can see in my table of contents, I have all this, right? Now, if I want to change the theme, okay, I don't want it to appear like a very monotonous thing. So I can go to the themes 
and there I can choose the color I want. Okay, so the you can see that the color has automatically changed to pink. These are the various colors that I can decide. I can also select the writing style. Okay, so I can also select the writing style. There's diplomat, there's vision, there's level. Okay, and in the level also there are various. There's impression. So it's your choice which theme you want for your website. Okay, now let us see. It's preview. This is the first page and let us see the preview. On the top, you can see these are the tabs for the undo, for the redo and this is the tab for preview. So we will click on this and this is how my website front page would appear to the viewers. In publish, I cannot click, can, uh, sorry, in preview, I cannot click this. Okay, but as soon as I publish my website, all these content would be available to the viewers. So this is the first video. In the next video, we will see how to add different pages to a website and how to, how to make the website more interactive. Till then, take care. Thank you.